What is up guys? Welcome back to the video. So today we're going to be doing a green upgrade only challenge in Bonanza. Let's see if we can go late game and actually win with this strategy. It's 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 going to be hard, not going to lie. Also, the towers we're going to bring are, of course, the sniper, the mortar. We're also going to bring the bomb tower because the bomb does have some green looking upgrades. We've also, okay, this, this is kind of sad because Super Monkey would normally be really great in Bonanza. Oh, that's actually perfect. Okay, we got the farm. I was thinking we'd have to go, oh no. We still have to go eco, don't we? Because if you look at the farm, we do have some green on it. This is absolutely fine. However, we can't go for the factory or the BIA because, of course, it's not going to be green. So that really sucks. But our main defense is uh, is going to be the Cripple Mob Sniper, which is absolutely great against the Mob Cost Balloons. We've also got the Artillery Battery from the Mortar, which, again, it's it's not good against uh, the Mobs necessarily, although the ability is pretty nice. Uh, but it's really, really good against the Balloons. And, of course, it's nice camera detection for the Bomb as well and yeah on the bomb tower we're gonna be going actually let's go straight for the cluster bombs because i can actually go straight for this cluster uh because we do have the money so yeah as you can see this is green the bomb tower isn't but if we have the money to go straight for this we can okay so also one problem maybe i won't go farms because as you can see my farmer is not green we don't have any upgrades the the tower itself isn't green so that that's actually really bad so i'm gonna get i normally never get this but let's get the long life bananas so i don't actually end up missing all of the bananas but yeah i really hope you guys do enjoy this video let's see if we can be a2 over there on the other side with just green upgrades uh and yeah if you do like the video make sure to like subscribe and yeah let's see if we can win this match it is gonna be super duper fun also this challenge was actually suggested to me by a good friend of mine monkey lord he does amazing professor evil walkthroughs and like documentary style short videos and stuff like the micro challenge i'll link his channel in the description of this video go show him some love tell him trip pepper sent you and yeah let's get back to this video okay so i'm actually you know what i'm gonna sell my farm normally i don't do this but like the farm is just gonna be really annoying i think i'm just gonna go regular eco uh but yeah as you can see everything on my side right now is green uh what happens if we go for the balloon impact cannon is it oh actually you know what that does count as green i know it's like half black but it also does have the green theme. So that is, dude, that is absolutely fine. I'm actually really happy with that. We can't go. Wait, actually, can we go for the Moab Moolah? Wait, 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 wait. We can't go for the Moab Moolah. But can we go for the Moab Assassin? Because I'm pretty sure the Moab Assassin actually has some green on it. Like, it's decently green. Oh, that would be so cool. Also, no, A2, he's going to go down to my greens over there, which would be kind of ironic because this is a green challenge. But no, he's going to go for the Dragon's Breath over there. Good decision. Uh, but yeah, let's see. If we go straight for this upgrade right here. Um. Oh, no. Okay, okay. No, it's not green. I don't know why I thought it was green. <laughs> it is not green. It is not green one bit. Okay. Anyway, let's send the yellows in. They're probably going to struggle against this eco, to be honest. And yeah, for the guys of you that don't know, I'm just sending balloons because as you can see, I have an eco over here. I have $1,200. I get that number of money every six seconds, which is actually really good. And of course, because we're playing in Bonanza when money is doubled and everything is doubled, um, well, we get double eco. Every single yellow I sent gives me six extra eco, which of course I get every six seconds. So that's actually really, really good. So yeah, it looks like we won't be able to go for the Moab Assassins. That's absolutely fine. I don't know why I thought it was great. Oh, I know because I was thinking of the Moab Eliminator. I was thinking about the Moab Eliminator in Balloons Tower Defense 6 because I have been playing a lot more Balloons Tower Defense 6 recently. Okay, well, we have to go for this. Wait, we don't have the money. No, we don't have the money. Okay, well, it's round 10. They can't really rush me with anything. I really hope they are not a late game traitor. I have faced so many late game traitors recently and it's just you know what it's just so sad because everyone says you know i'm gonna go late game with you and then they don't go late game with you they just rush you but yeah as you can see completely green we have camera detection we have our balloon impact cannon i'm pretty sure we can just eco without worrying honestly i'm pretty sure this guy didn't have the best win loss record i honestly i can't remember it um, but they're playing pretty well. Like, they got three factories up on round 13. Um, they only leaked nine lives to my continuous eco. Now, honestly, it looked like they were struggling a lot more. So, you know what? I'm pretty impressed with A2. However, what I'm not impressed with is the use of the wizard. I mean, I can't really talk, but to be fair, I'm, you know, I'm doing a challenge. So that's why I got weird towers. But definitely going for the wizard in Bonanza, not the best move. You want to go for stuff like Ninja, Super Monkey, and maybe don't even go farm. Although it is tempting to go farm because you make so much money so quickly. And going eco is kind of a pain because you literally just have to hold these balloons down for absolutely ages. 
But yeah, right now we're doing pretty good. I am, maybe I'll like uh, fill this whole thing with balloon impact cannons. Not quite sure yet, but this is a really, really nice map for it because we'll see the green, like everything green on my side. Um, also, they're going to go for mostly probably red towers. They're probably going to spam that whole defense with the summon phoenix wizards, uh, which is definitely a good move. That's definitely what you should do if you have those towers over there. And I will stop ecoing fairly soon, but in my videos, normally what I do is I, I don't eco enough. I go to like 8,000. I'm like, dude, 8,000 is going to be enough to afford everything I want. And then I really struggle late game because 8,000 eco is not enough to last you late game. You need to have like 12,000, 14,000 if you want to afford at like a max defense and stuff. Anyway, this guy, A2, or go, technically, um, they could be sending me a, a couple of mobs on the next round. I don't, they didn't say late game, so they wouldn't be a late game traitor if they did rush me. Uh, but I think it is time just to get up some defense. I'm gonna I'm not gonna get up everything, but I do at least want to get up like a couple of uh, snipers, uh, maybe a couple more bombs as well. Uh, but as you can see, this defense is going to look so good, dude. It's gonna be one of the cleanest looking defenses. Uh, copy eco. They should have used that earlier, dude. They they should have used that way earlier because that gives you max 700 eco. So they're not really gonna be able to copy that much of my eco. But I mean, that's that's you do you. Uh, okay, so let's go for cripple mobs. Obviously, they're green. Looks really, really nice. We could only afford a couple of them. And we're going to go back to eco now. But we do have all of those if we do need to upgrade them. And honestly, like, if I was just going for the snipers, the cripple mobs snipers, I'd be kind of worried about the balloons. But you cannot wait. Okay, okay. That explains the wizard. Because he has super monkey over there. He has a temple with... Wait, does, did he sacrifice the wizard to it? I don't actually know. I don't think he sacrificed- No! No! A2! What are you doing, man? I don't think he sacrificed the wizard to- Oh, no. I don't think he- He, he hasn't got any blades on it, either. That is a van- I think that's a vanilla temple. I think that doesn't have any sacrifices on it at all. Which is obviously terrible. Like, that's not gonna do anything. That's not gonna do- I mean, it's gonna do something. But it, it's really trash. So, yeah, if you want to remember, I, I say this in literally every single late game video, but you want to go, wait, also, I just want to test something. Does it turn it? Okay, yeah, that's that's not green enough. As you can see, it kind of like the, when you get the missile, it's not green enough. So I apologize. Let me sell that. Let me just get back uh, these cannons. I'm also going to fill the space. But yeah, I say this in every video, uh, but when you're going for a temple, what you want to have in your temple is $30,000 worth of each sacrifice. That is how much you need to get a max sacrifice. Now, the different sacrifices, you can sacrifice any regular tower that isn't one of the main sacrifices. And it will give you blades on your temple, which honestly, I feel like it's one of the most powerful. So normally, if you're going uh, with the temple, you just sacrifice like the super monkey to it. You've also got the wizard sacrifice for tornadoes. You've got the bomb slash mortar sacrifice. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm not failing the challenge because I'm, you know, I'm selling them quickly. Uh, but yeah, anyway, then you have like the glue sacrifice and uh, you have a couple of like the wizard sacrifice as well. I think I mentioned all of them. But yeah, basically, if you if you want to get well, you can't get a max temple in battles, uh, but you can still get a pretty powerful temple. I may have missed some of them because like I'm concentrating on getting my defense up, which honestly, it kind of looks stupid right now. Like this looks really bad. This defense actually looks trash. I really need to get up some more towers right here. So let's go for all of these cripple wipe snipers. I will go for a couple more mortars as well. Uh, I'm gonna give them a thumbs up because I'm, I'm really afraid. Like, I feel like if I'm friendly towards them, I give them a thumbs up. I say, well done. Maybe, maybe they're gonna be slightly less inclined to go for a massive rush against me. At least that is that is what I'm hoping. I, I feel like they will just go for a rush against me, but I, I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling really good about this because A2 does not have any sacrifices on their temples, which is terrible. Like they have the wizard. You should use if you bring wizard, it should at least be one of the sacrifices for your temple. Otherwise, you should just not bring wizard. I mean, it's, it's easy to go like early game. The wizard's just a good early game tower. But late game, it's it's mediocre. Like it's it's decent with the Phoenix and the, the wall window's okay in certain situations. But in general, you don't want to be going for that. But okay, I'm really annoyed about something. I have tier oh my god, voice crack. I'm annoyed about that too, but I have tier zero powers because I was doing a boost only. Like, I was playing Monkey Lord, the guy I mentioned earlier, and he's way better than me, right? But, you know, we were just playing with tier zero powers because we don't like powers that much. Um, but man, like, I, I should have just, I should have switched them out because now I only have the basic boosts to defend. And I mean, I don't really need the road spikes or the balloon boost, but it would be way better to have a power that does double damage to mobs and stuff. But anyway, we are doing really good with our defense so far. I'll stop at 10,000. I feel like 10,000 will be enough. I know I, I stop and then I'm like, oh no, I should have got more eco. But I, I do think in this situation, 
10,000 eco does sound like it will be enough. So I'm just going to stop. At ex Actually, I'm going to try and get exactly 10,000 eco. So we're going to try and stop exactly at 10,000. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. We're Okay, we're very, very close. There we go. Oh, no. No, no, I messed it up because if I go for a red balloon, it is going to give me, I believe, two eco, which absolutely sucks because then, okay, we failed it. Okay, well, let's go 10,001. Okay, fine. So let's start to get up all of these snipers. Sniper is pretty expensive. Uh, it's not like the, the most expensive thing in the world, but you can see I can sell it for 9,120. How much is the mortar actually? Okay, yeah, okay, apart from the bomb, bomb's pretty cheap. Everything else is actually pretty expensive. It's not as much as his temples and stuff, but you can clearly see this is why you want to go farms in Bonanza if you're, like, like medium of the game. If, you, if you're a pro, you should probably go eco, uh, because then you have, like, an extra tower slot that you're not bringing the farm in. But you can see you can definitely make a lot more easy money with the farm. I mean, that that's why the farm exists. It's literally a tower that makes you money. It should be, I mean, it shouldn't necessarily be better than eco, but if you're, if you're using a tower slot to bring a, a tower that like makes you money it should be you know good at making you money okay okay so we need to go for some more mortars in fact i don't really like the placement of that mortar so i'm just gonna sell it let's put you right there let's get this and let's just spam an absolute ton of mortars mortar really fun tower actually it's kind of annoying to spam though because as you can see it takes up a ton of space and also you have to set the targeting every single time which is really really annoying also i did not realize this thing is in the way I, I had no idea that like stupid like moon buggy or whatever is actually in the way. Okay, that's that's fine. It's kind of annoying. Uh, let's keep on putting the mortars down as quickly as we can. Now, mortar is going to be very useful, mainly because of the ability, which basically stalls everything on the, our side for like a second. Although against CMGs, it doesn't really stall them for that long. But you know what? It's still a really decent one to have, especially uh, it just is really good against the balloons. Uh, but honestly, our balloon popping power is going to be pretty decent already. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, our mortar's looking pretty nice up there, which I really like. Uh, let's try and fit them as close together as possible. I apologize if I'm doing it a bit slowly. I just want to make sure we get as many towers and good upgrades on my side as I possibly can. Oh, this is so annoying. This is so annoying. There we go. We've got a decently hard round coming up right now with all the ceramics, but we are doing a good job against the ceramics. Okay, I believe that is going to be it for the mortars. Yep, that's going to be it for the mortars. So let's just upgrade every single mortar right now to the artillery battery. And they're all, I believe, aimed at that place right there, which isn't the best place in the world. Also, because it, it took me a while to get all of these towers down, um, our money built up so we can actually buy most of the upgrades. Also, I really apologize if I miss any of the tower upgrades. Uh, also, I've been trying to like have my commentary be a bit more chill this video because normally, you know, I, I shout a lot and I'm like even more excited. I just, you know, I decided I I'm just going to chill it out a bit. Tell me what you think in the comment section. If you even noticed that was a bit more chill in this video, just tell me what you think. If you like it, if you don't like it, I'm absolutely fine uh, and open to criticism and stuff like that. Okay, so wait, do we have any towers we need to upgrade? No, that's all good. Okay, I'm really, guys, you can really see the green on my side. It looks really awesome. Like, it's actually, it's so great. It's, why are you using Copy Eco, man? Why are you using Copy Eco? Do not, you don't need to use Copy Eco. So, if you go for a rush against me, I am going to be slightly worried, I have to admit, because if you look at my defense right now, I have barely any snipers up right now, and you can see, oh no. Oh my god, we are actually struggling to mobs already. I mean, obviously, we're not using any abilities and stuff, but that is a bit scary. We don't want to be struggling, man. We really don't. Also, let's, um, like, mess with the targetings on some of these, because you really need to, guys, you really need to mess with the targeting on your snipers, so at least, like, they choose different targets. Otherwise, they're just going to choose the same target. They don't really stall that much. It's kind of pointless. Uh, let's keep on getting these snipers up. Yes, so I'm not sure if we're going to win this. He does have the Super Monkey. However, he also didn't, I believe, get any sacrifices on them at all. So I'm feeling kind of good about this game. I, I feel like it's 50-50. Also, my defense just looks so nice. I really hope I get the time to space it out. I know the rounds are going to get harder and harder. So I really, really hope we are able to take out all of the AI. And hopefully, A2 does not go for a rush against me. But honestly, it does seem like A2 just, they just want to go like late game with me, which is obviously amazing. It's okay. If you don't want to go late game and you play me, that's absolutely fine. Just don't say late game and then rush me early game and try and kill me. That is the thing I don't like. I, I, I don't mind anything else. Okay, so our defense is looking so good, man. It is actually looking so nice. All of the snipers, the bomb towers. I know the bomb towers aren't perfectly green, but, you know, they're close enough. They're pretty good. Uh, let's keep on getting these snipers up, man. I, I'm not feeling too good about my defense. I am not feeling too good about this defense. I think we're definitely going to start struggling fairly soon. In fact, we're already struggling a tiny bit. Um, let's just keep on filling it with as much... Oh, no. 
Oh, no. What did I say about the money, guys? What did I say about the money? Wait, there are BFBs on his side? You can't even see the BFBs on my side. That is the power of the sniper. Like, the sniper can. It can be really, really good. Uh, but it often kind of struggles. So let's keep on messing with a bunch of these targetings. Let's set some of these to close. Close is definitely, I feel like, the best targeting. Strong is also good. Uh, let's keep on upgrading all of these. I really hope I have not missed any upgrades. Because I know how annoying that is when I used to watch, like, Gaming Malt's videos and he missed an upgrade. Dude, the whole comment section would be about it telling him that he missed an upgrade. Okay, we can almost afford this. Look, we're literally stalling everything. We have not used any of my lovely mortar abilities just yet. So that's great. Uh, do we have any unupgraded things up here? I don't believe we do. Perfect. Okay. Now, should we go for some more bomb towers? I don't know if the bombs... I mean, it is cheap, though. It is cheap. And cluster bombs is pretty decent. So, yeah. let's. Oh, you can barely see, dude. You can barely see the track because look at the mortar explosions. The mortar explosions literally take up the whole thing. You can barely see it at all. Can I put one in the middle? Please, please say I can put one in the... Yeah, I can 100% fit something in the middle. Please, please, game. There we go. Thank you. Okay, let's go for... Remember, we can't go for the missiles, but that's, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Let's just go for the bigger bombs on these things. And you can't even see because it's the mortar explosions. Also, let's use... Oh, we got 15 mortars, actually. That's really good. We can use a bunch of these abilities. As you can see, we can store everything. But, man, it is round 40, and we are, we are, we are really struggling. This is not good. Okay, green towers only. I, I don't know if green towers only is the best tower combination to go if you want to go late game. But it was fun. Ow, I don't know why I'm saying was. We could still potentially win this. Um, so let's keep on trying to fit as many snipers as possible. Because we definitely still, as you can see up here, we do have a lot of space left. We have a lot of space. We can probably fit like another 20 snipers uh, in various places all around the map. So I'm going to try my best to do that quickly. We're on 40 right now, which is actually, you know what? I'm I'm pretty impressed that we got this far. I do want to get, I want to get to at least round 50. I don't think we're going to get to round 50, but that's, that's the round I want to get to. But you can see we're not, our damage is pretty low. Our damage is pretty low. We don't really have any towers that do lots of damage to mob class balloons with their shots. But it's okay. That's okay. Every tower has its limitations. Unfortunately, most of the tower limitations on my side right now are not doing like much damage. That they're all kind of stalling towers, right? So the balloon impact, you know, it stalls the balloons. It slows down the balloons. It stuns them. However, it doesn't do anything against mild class balloons. The cripple mob, of course, it stalls mild class balloons. And then you got the artillery battery, which stalls uh, everything on the screen as well. So actually, it's not just green towers only. It's stall towers only, which is kind of cool. But it's not the best stall towers. Definitely not the best stall towers. Also, I believe my defense is almost pretty much done. Also, I don't know how long this map is. I don't think I've really played on this map that much. So, oh, no, no, no. He's going for a rush against me. He's going for a rush. Okay, I'm going to go for a rush against you. Okay, I just saw that he balloon boosted against me. But he's not going for a rush. No, he's not rushing me. Oh, did I go for a rush when he's not actually going to rush me? I am so confused right now. No, I'm sorry. Am I a late game traitor now? Am I a late game traitor for rushing him with ZOMGs? No, I thought they were going to rush me. I'm so confused, man. I am so confused. But we got our whole defense up. Okay, well, they balloon boosted against me. Maybe it was an accident. <laughs> Maybe they accidentally balloon boosted against me. That would be the stupidest thing. But I, they might actually defend my rush anyway. No, no, I don't think they're going to... Oh, actually, they might. They might actually defend. In which case, I just really screwed myself. Because I have zero eco right now. Oh, that's so funny. I thought they were going for a rush, so I instantly reacted. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say oops. I'm just gonna say oops. That's so stupid. No, no, I thought you were gonna rush me and then you didn't rush me. Okay, that, that makes no sense. But it is all good. I don't think they are going to die to my rush, even though they didn't boost. Oh, it's close though. It is close. Look at my, the ZMGs and the BFPs on their side. It is at the very end. Oh my God. Are they gonna leak? No, no, they defended. They actually defended. I'm gonna, oh wait, did they die? They died! They died to the regular ZMG. Oh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I apologize about rushing you, A2. I thought you were rushing me. But yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.